Most of you are probably familiar with Firefox themes, which you can install from the Firefox add-ons. However, what if I tell you that there is another way of installing themes, which are more complete and those themes can even change the Firefox user interface to something completely different. Please let me introduce to you Firefox CSS Store, where you can find many of modern themes, which mimic Safari, Google Chrome and many other interfaces. And with that said, in this video, I will show you how easy it is to install one of the themes from Firefox CSS Store. And by the way, if you are questioning yourself, what is that wallpaper on my desktop? Make sure that you check out the first link in the video description. And now, let's begin. Once you are on this website, firefoxcssstore.github.io, or if you haven't, I will also put a link in the video description right below the like button. So make sure that you pause the video and go to this link. Here on this website, you will search for the theme which you really like, but the theme which caught my eye is this one right here, down below, this one. Firefox theme is apparently inspired by the Arc browser. And if you guys haven't heard about the Arc browser yet, I highly advise to you guys that you check out my separate video about the Arc browser, which will also be linked in the video description down below. Once you are on this website, I will click here to try it for yourself. And now we are basically redirected to the github.com. And once you are on this website, here you will go to the releases right here. And here you have .zip file, which we will need to click on and then basically extract this file. So what you will do is to click on this folder icon and inside the file explorer you will select the .zip file and make sure that you here select extract all and then extract once again and once the files are extracted you will go back to the github page here you will copy this configuration link so you will press ctrl and c and you will go here to the top on the new tab and paste this to the new tab and press on the enter here you have a warning proceed with caution here i will click on the accept the risk and continue and once you have done that, you will go back to the GitHub page and then you will copy this string right here. So control C to copy this string, go back to the advanced preferences and paste this inside here. Now click on it here and you will click on this right symbol. This will turn this flag to true. And once you have done that, you will basically close the Firefox browser and you will open it once again. And now you will go here here to the history and you will go back to the Vicefox GitHub page. Here you have two more things to do. So here you will copy about column and support port string and then you will basically paste it to the new tab and press enter and once you are on this website you will see here application basics and here where it says profile folder you will click on open folder now this is very important that you press new tab here go to your downloads click on the extracted folder and inside the extracted folder of the vice fox theme you have chrome folder now you will press on this icon and this will copy the Chrome folder and you will go back to the Firefox profile folder and you will paste this inside here. And now you have the Chrome folder inside this folder, which should end by the string release. So this is pretty much it. And now what you will do is to close the Firefox and open it once again. And now you should see that you have here the theme which mimics the R browser experience. Now, not everything will be perfect. And this is it, how it goes with the Firefox CSS themes. Not every single theme is perfect. So you can clearly see that the theme is kind of broken and it does work properly with this release of the Firefox browser. So in case if something happens to, to the Firefox browser or to the theme, like you see here, that isn't quite supported with the latest release of Firefox, I highly advise to you guys that you remove the theme. So how you can do that is to go back to this folder, search for the Chrome folder that we copied before and now you will press on the bin to delete the theme. Now you will close the Firefox browser and open it once again. And this is it, how you fix the Firefox browser if the theme doesn't support the latest version or if the theme doesn't support Windows version at all. Now, what I highly recommend that you find the theme which supports Windows and Mac OS and also the latest version. And here basically pick a theme and you will basically try a theme. If it doesn't work, you will revert back to the 
original look of the Firefox. So the theme which I know that it works is the theme which represents or mimics the look of the Safari browser. So if you search in the input field on the top right, search for the Safari, and if you select here white Sir Safari style for Firefox, now you will go here to the releases and click on the white Sir Firefox theme for the Mac OS. Now click on the folder icon and select the .zip for this new theme. Click on the extract all and then once again extract and this will extract all the required files for the installation for this exact theme and you will basically follow the instructions from the specific github page for the theme. So in this case this theme has separate installation methods for the macOS as well as for the Windows and the Linux. So here we have the manu manual installation for the macOS and Windows as well. So here you will go to about and support in Firefox. So open new tab, paste this command inside. And now you will basically follow instructions. Here you go, have profile, profile folder, click on the profile folder, and then you will open the new tab here, go to the downloads, open the newly downloaded theme. And here it says that we need to copy the folders Chrome and also the configuration folders inside this folder. So what I will do is go here, click on the Chrome, copy it and paste it right here like so and then you will go back to this folder and select the configuration folder copy it and paste it inside this folder like so and there is also important thing that if you are using firefox 69 plus versions in case if you don't know how to check which version you have of the firefox you will click on this hamburger menu on the top right select on the help down below and click on the about firefox here you can see the version the current version is 122. You will go basically here, copy this string about and config, paste it like here inside and then press enter. And once you have here the proceed with caution uh, warning, once again, click on the accept and here copy this string and make sure that you set this to true, which already is because we already needed to do this for the previous theme. And now once we restart the Firefox, we should have the Safari look for the Firefox ourselves. So here on the top, we have close menu on the left, but on the Windows, it's usually on the right. So this is what this theme offers. So in case if you don't like the look anymore of this Firefox uh, theme, you will go to this, this folder, profile folders, and delete the theme which you needed to install for the exact theme. So in this case, we needed to install Chrome and the configuration theme. So if I remove this two and close the Firefox and once again open it, it should revert back to normal. Uh, like you see right now here. And with that said, I think this is pretty much it for this video. All the required files will be linked in the video description right below the like button. And if you are new here, make sure that you click on that subscribe button. And uh, yeah, this is pretty much it. If you are interested in my wallpaper pack, make sure that you check out the first link in the video description. Have an amazing rest of your day, guys, and I see you all in the next video. Peace.